Is it possible to lose 50 pounds of fat and go from this to this in a very short amount of time without cutting out carbs and without starving yourself? In today's video, I'm going to show you my exact formula that I use for all of my clients to get them insane results without starving themselves. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video where I give you the exact training plan, the exact nutrition plan that I used for my clients to get results like this. When it comes to fat loss, the main issue I see all the time from clients to people who speak to me is that they just cut too many calories too soon from their diet and then begin to suffer. If you're going to have longevity with your diet and see some insane results, then the diet you follow needs to be sustainable. How many times have you tried to diet, you've cut out all your carbs and suddenly you get four, five days into this diet and you're suffering. Doing this creates a cycle of almost binge and restrict which is a guaranteed way to never get results. So what you need to do is eat in a way that satiates you, that you can enjoy, that you can follow, that you can sustain, and that doesn't take over your life. So let's get in to exactly how you're gonna calculate your calories and what foods you're gonna eat in order to achieve insane results. So step one, I want you to get on the scale first thing in the morning with no clothing on or as little clothing as possible after you've used the loo. And you're gonna repeat this process every single morning for seven days. I want you to get an average of your weight or see if it's gone up, see if it's gone down and put that information to one side. Whilst you're doing this throughout the week and every single day, I want you to download a calorie tracker app like MyFitnessPal and calculate every single little bit of food that you're eating. So that means weighing it, putting it into the tracker and seeing how many calories you eat on a daily basis. After you've done this for seven days, I want you to divide the number of calories you've eaten across that seven days and see what number you get. For example, if you get two and a half thousand calories and your weight's gone down, you know that you're in a calorie deficit. However, if you eat two and a half thousand calories and your weight has gone up, then we might have to consider dropping some calories. So whatever calories you come to, let's say you are eating two and a half thousand and you're not losing weight, I'd recommend initially dropping around three to 400 calories out of your diet and using that as a starting point. So that leaves us with 2,100 to 2,200 calories and from this, I want you to eat 30% protein, which leaves us with 70% of the calories left to make up through carbs and fats. This is the absolute best way to figure out your starting calories without using apps, without using random methods. And it's guaranteed way to figure out what your body weight is doing and what you are responding to. So now that you've figured out your starting calories, we need to figure out your starting cardio and steps. And if you watched one of my previous videos of the best cardio for fat loss, you'd see the exact routine that I recommend. So I'm gonna replicate this in today's video. To start with, we need to figure out your steps. Now, if you're somebody who sits down a lot at work every single day, you might only be doing 4,000 to 5,000 steps per day. Many people will give you this arbitrary number of 10,000 steps. However, this is very individual. You don't want to be increasing your output by too much right at the start. Small jumps, will go a very long way. So for example, if you're doing 5,000 steps per day, I want you to actually increase this to around seven, maybe 8,000 steps, and that will be the perfect starting point. Anytime that your weight plateaus, consider increasing this by 1,000 steps per day each time. When it comes to your cardio, I recommend a very medium intensity for the reason that it's very easy to recover from. It's not very demanding. You can do it in the gym, you can do it outside, you can do it whilst reading a book, and it's a great proven method for burning calories. If you preferred a higher intensity, you can absolutely do that. It is all preference. However, for my clients and the results you've seen in this video so far, they were prescribed a moderate intensity. So I want you to start off with two sessions every week of 30 minutes, and we're gonna keep it as simple as that. So now that we've figured out our starting calories, our starting steps and cardio, we need to get in to what to do with our weight training. Now, again, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I'm a huge advocate of an upper lower rest split. Plenty of the science has shown that a high training frequency is ideal and optimal for muscular growth. So if you're currently doing a bro split, I'd highly suggest changing your training to have a higher frequency so you can stimulate the muscle more often and see more gains. So for your training, here's how you're going to break it down. On a Monday, you're going to train your upper body with one specific rotation. On a Tuesday, you're going to train your legs with another specific rotation. On Wednesday, you're going to take a rest day. That leads us into Thursday where we've got upper body again for rotation number two. And then Friday, we've got legs for rotation number two. 
and then we rest on Saturday. This then repeats the cycle on Sunday. So every week we've got three upper body sessions and then the week after we have three leg workouts. So this rotation is gonna move around bi-weekly as you can tell from the slides prior. And what you're probably thinking is this is way too much training, it's too much frequency and I'm not going to recover. If you're currently used to doing a bro split, I can understand this mentality, but what you need to realize with an upper lower training split is that your training volume per session has to decrease. So you might be used to doing 10, 11, 12 working sets on chest on a Monday, but when you're training it with this level of frequency, you might only need three to five working sets per session per muscle group. So go ahead, give it a try, and I guarantee you will see way more growth than you ever have done before. So now we've figured out our starting calories, we've figured out our cardio and steps, we've even figured out our weight training, so that leads us nicely in what types of foods should you eat. Now there's a few different options that you can run with. Of course, you're using MyFitnessPal and you're tracking all the foods that you're eating. So you can eat whatever you want as long as you hit your calorie target. That is the main thing. Remember, you want to hit your protein target, so you're going to have to eat good whole foods that are nutritious and going to digest well. However, the rest of the food you can actually fill in with foods that you enjoy. Now, for my clients and the ones who got the results like you've seen in this video, I will prescribe them certain foods to eat as I'm a true believer that eating specific foods that are going to digest well, help you perform better, help you sleep better, give you more energy, is definitely preferable to an if it fits your macros style diet. This doesn't mean that one is correct and one is wrong. This is all personal preference and to be honest, I've been a huge advocate of flexible dieting my entire life and followed it very closely, probably for the last 13 or 14 years. However, when it comes to really feeling good, really digging down and getting the result that you want, you're going to have to clean up that food that you are eating. So here's some of the foods I recommend when you're deep into a diet, you're feeling a little bit hungry, and you really need to keep your belly full. For your protein choices, you're going to want to stick with meats that are highly nutritious and going to fill you up, of course. So for one, you're going to eat chicken breast as it's nice and lean and filling. From a red meat point of view, you can eat anything from extra lean mince, steak, or any type of lean beef. And then when it comes to things like fish, I'd recommend white fish, or salmon, but of course be wary that some red meats and some types of fish contain higher fat. But of course, you can make this work. When it comes to your carbohydrates, you're going to want foods that easily digest. Again, this is going to look like white rice, rice-based cereals, different forms of beans. For some people, things like pasta digest very well. And then looking at other foods like cream of rice. Now, anything that is rice-based generally will digest well and leave you feeling good, so keep that in mind. When it comes to your vegetables, this is where I recommend you fill up. Make sure that you're eating generally green leafy veg and maybe staying away from more root vegetables. This isn't to say that they're unhealthy or gonna cause issues, but for some people, they don't digest as well. For myself, I'm a big advocate of when I'm deep into a diet of filling up on courgette as it is crazy filling and leaves you feeling full and satisfied. When it comes to specific fat sources, I've personally never been a fan of purposely eating fats. I kind of just let them add up throughout the day. However, if you were strung up on it, I'd recommend getting your fats from oils, nut butters, fatty veg such as avocado, and plenty of healthy fats from red meat and things like salmon. So guys, if you follow this plan to the T, looking at the cardio, the steps, training plan, nutrition, all of that, I guarantee you will get results just like my clients who I have shown in this video. When it comes to planning your training for a fat loss period, it isn't super complicated. However, you just need the right plan and you need to be consistent. So everything I've shown you in this video, give it a go and I guarantee you will get results. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe consider leaving a like on the video. The channel is growing extremely well at the moment. It'd be nice to see that continue. So thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.